Hi guys, that's Dorota Palitska International, Neil Artis and Educator, and today we are in with Gail and we are going to do some kind of galaxy news. Uh, so I have quickly rebalanced her nails and she's just having a um, gel overlay now on top of her natural nails. Now I'm going to clean it with the blue scrub and then I will show you how to do this ombre chrome look. And we are going to paint some um, kind of galaxy look on those nails. So I'm just cleaning them well. She has been using gloves quite a lot, so her skin is pretty, pretty dry. We'll have to put plenty of the cuticle oil so we can get a nice thumbnail picture. But now I'm going to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel on those nails so we can do the chrome effect into a kind of ombre look. Because Gail doesn't like her nails to be fully covered. I'm just applying a thin layer of the top coat. So basically what you would do is you would build up the nail extensions. If it is any ex extensions, there is lots of tutorials on my channel how to do the extensions. There is also lots of tutorials how to... Uh, do the rebalance on the nails so you can just watch them and then this will be your next part after they filed so when i'm applying the chrome like i'm really not chrome the top coat i'm really checking like um if there is um, no holes no wee bits and pieces of the dust because if you get anything like that it is going to be extremely extremely visible uh, when you apply the chrome So I'm just checking, see, there is a wee bit of the dust in there. I need to take it off. So just apply the top coat. And you can also see my brush kind of wrap up around the free edge. So that's the time when I'm capping the free edge. When we're doing things slow, you can kind of see it more, but when we do it a little bit quicker, sometimes it's invisible. Okay, another bits and piece of the dust. So when you can, uh, you can check it always underneath of the light, like kind of reflection. I'm just going to grab the sponge, clean my brush, get rid of that. And if it's really annoying bit part, you could just wipe it off again and start from the scratch. Sometimes it's actually quicker. Must there be a bit of the fluff, but I really don't want that. Like, I mean, if you want to have a nice and clean chrome application, you don't want that. Okay, now I'm going to cure it, my nails, and then uh, this hand, just the usual, that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, cured it for exactly a 60 seconds and that's the best time for rubbing the crumbs into the nails like then the top coat is really nice and and um, you get a nice and shiny effect so I've got Gail watching for me <laughs> she don't grab her hand too close to me just so you can guys see it, what I'm doing. And she has been my client for the last, gosh, 10, 11 years. Something like that. <laughs> yes, yeah, long, long time. And can you guys believe she never have a full color? Never. My nails grow too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I am always have to find the ideas like with the... Uh, on the uh, end of the nails done okay cool so that's them all painted change and now we are going to wrap this chrome so i'm using the born pretty one i have no idea what one is it exactly but i think it's those kind of like a peacock looks and uh, i think it will be a fantastic one for the um, galaxy kind of look but also with the chameleons you could get a really nice results now so i've got this i'm dipping it in 
and a very important part to get the ombre look is that you apply it only to the end first okay so i'm only applying it kind of like a french look so kind of french look first decent really highly pigmented like quite a lot at the ends okay and now once i have applied it on the ends yeah it's kind of like a holographic one i'm start rubbing it in but i'm still only rubbing the part which is at the end and then leave it so it's not faded nicely yet go and do it exactly in there exactly the same in here yeah it's a kind of similar one to the holographic one you had it so time ago mm -hmm. and now once i have rubbed that and i need to bring that higher up okay so i'm just taking whatever i've got left and i'm start brushing higher to the top again a bit higher so this way you only kind of applying a little bit of the product the higher you go And I want actually a decent amount of it, but try to keep it in a V shape and uh, close to the cuticle. I don't want too much of the product. Okay, keep massaging that in. And I like when it shifts the light that it kind of gives this holographic color. If you touch it too much in some place, I've got a tiny bit of the blue scrub and I'm just going to remove it this part because I don't want this product in there. Okay, and this way you make kind of like an chrome ombre. Once you're happy with it, I'm going to take a brush and just brush away the excess of the product. Okay, my next step is to take a file and give it a couple scratches at the free edge. If you do give a scratches at the free edge, you are going to make your top coat to stick into the scra scratches and then you are not going to get the chip. And we are going to do exactly the same on the other hand. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like the holographic one which we use it but with the color on it. Mm. Now I'm just going to do it a much quicker job. It's like a very dark uh, blue but with those holographic through it and I really want to have some kind of uh, the more I do it the nicer the holographic effect is visible I just keep rubbing it in. It's 
So if you guys from England, I feel so sorry for you having shut again. We're just waiting for an announcement what is going to happen in Scotland. So hopefully we can still carry on, but uh, the time will show. Cool, and I'm just going to do it exactly the same with this one. So give it a scratches. And then clean it. I want to actually find it at the best light to show you the effect on it. Because I think it's pretty, pretty nice. Okay, and now we are going to start painting. If you're 100% sure of what you paint, you don't have to do anything else. Just go, oh, just go with the, uh, with the brush and paint whatever you want to paint. Um, and that's what I'm going to do it. But if you're unsure, you could apply the top coat, buff it, and then paint the color. I'm just going to grab my paint on French gel. So I've got my paint on French gel and a tiny bit of the back of the foil um, form, nail form. And my D-liner brush. So I'm just going to pick up a small amount of the product and we are going to paint those beautiful stars on those nails. Okay, so that's the focus going on a little bit better now in the video and I have put my paint on French gel on the heating for a couple seconds uh, just so it's nicer hot consistency to paint yeah that's better and we are going to paint those we design So nice and small wee stars. And I think it's a pretty cool design for this time of the year. So this is my nail, like I don't use it's, uh, my skin. But I quite like to sometimes remove like an a wee blob of the product which I might have on the end just so I can get really nice tiny wee lines because if you've got too much product it's much harder to paint it and I like it how the color shifts like and it's so nice and holographic same on this one so here I'm going to paint the moon And basically what I'm painting is just a letter C. Okay, so nice little moon. Here I have to place the star because that was the place where I missed the top coat. And the chrome didn't took over there. So if you find a place like this, just fix it. <laughs> And this is a kind of type of the design when you almost hold your breath all the time. Because I really want those stars to be nice and thin and tiny. I 
I don't want them to go bulky. And the easiest way to paint it is just like paint the crows first. So remove the excess. One line, second line, and then another line. Okay, another moon going in here. So the, again, the easiest way to paint it is to paint a bit thicker in the middle. So you can have it a bit thicker and then going thinner. And I'm really fussy like about the shape of it. I wanted it to be kind of like a nice C letter. Oh yeah. So I'm just touching it up to perfect the shape. Oh, we send it. I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay, you can have a wee sit. I will be with you in a second. Okay, and then just another star. But as I say, like if you scared that, like maybe you paint something wrong, and um, you don't want to uh, risk it wiping off your chrome ombre, I would suggest you apply the top coat, and then after you have applied the top coat, just buff it very gently. You have to buff it very gently, and then paint your wee stars. Now, when we come and talk about the buffing. I have been asked the question, what is the difference in between the buffer and the file? So, yes, there is a difference. The buffer is much more gentle. Now, I've got my dotting tool, and for the next part, I'm going to just take a dotting tool and apply a couple of the dots, or actually even not the dotting tool. I want them smaller. So I've got my kind of old brush. Don't use your good brush. Because uh, the good brush is, is pretty damaging for your brush. So I'm just applying a small couple of the small dots. And I show you guys maybe on the next one. Yeah, I, I love them. Yay! I'm glad as well. And I think it's a perfect time of the year for them as well. Yeah. Now on this one we will try to do kind of like a star constellation. So because I've got those nice chrome shifting, I don't want to cover it. Okay, so in some places you've got more stars. <clears throat> and then on the other places you've got just a single ones. better okay so that's that's how it looks and it's so nice when the colors are shifting i'm going to cure it and uh, do this exactly same design on the other hand and then come back to you okay that's us back so we have painted the other hand and they um uh, now it's the time to apply the top coat and then show you the final results And I like it because it's not uh, over the top. And my client is happy as well. <laughs> okay, so very important with the chrome to cut the free edge. Now regarding the chrome, I might actually give you another tip uh, as well. And I actually will say always at the end of the videos, I say something extra. Uh, I think for those who are watching to the end. Um, so what else you could do is when you're applying the chrome, if you don't want to give it a scratches, but I, I quite like to give it scratches in case if there is something else. You know, when we apply the universal air bond, 
it's like a nail primer what else you could do is you could take a primer and just cut the free edge with the primer but obviously i quite like giving the scratches and the reason for it is uh, if i give it scratches i tend to remove any excess of the loose powder because the problem is the loose powder so that's the first problem why the chrome could chip change and then the second problem would be uh, the uh, the top coat not sticking into the shiny surface uh, so that's how i do it chrome and then it lasts really nice and long time so cut the free edge I think I, we also was talking about the buffer difference and I, I can't remember did I finish this talk or not. So the file is much rougher, even if it's the same grit compared to the buffer. Buffer is much more gentle. And uh, you actually give me um, fantastic questions, guys. Like, I mean, really fantastic. And I'm really glad for it. Now, regarding, um, I had the question regarding the sanitization, disinfection and sterilization as well. So that's another good question. And I might quickly um, go through it now as well when the tile hands are curing, like nails are curing. And to talk about the cuticles as well, I promise I will do some nail anatomy video. I think that will be good. You can maybe hold it on for a one more second. So you can look at those beautiful nails. Now, regarding the sanitization. So first of all, when the clients comes in, I sanitize their hands and I use the Insta Spray. And Insta Spray is good, like it doesn't leave those kind of sticky surface and it's to sanitize the hands and kills the germs in the hands. But also it has anti-fungi uh, ingredients inside as well. So it's a fantastic stuff. So that will be my first step. Then my next step would be like the tools in a barbicide jar. So I always have like a cotton bat, cotton bat on the bottom, and I'm using the um, the liquid to disinfect the tools. And also an, another fantastic this one. I'm actually buying like a large bottle, so this one is really good one as well. I use it for other different tools as well, and it's effective and like uh, very short time. So that's the quickest and the strongest uh, disinfection one. It's a window one, and it's fantastic. Perfect. Thank you so much. And now, obviously, due to the coronavirus, I also <laughs> <laughs> bought myself like an all-in-one sanitizer. And it's actually fab because what I'm doing with it, I'm spraying it also in, in the air because the virus is airborne as well. So I would spray it all around the nail desk, like, you know, about two, three meters into the air. And then I will also spray it on the nail desk and I will spray it at the chair when the client was um, sitting in. So that was the question. And then we've got the dry heat sterilizers, which you could see it in the previous video when I was showing the salon. Uh, but that's those nails. Uh, nails done i'm just going to clean them and apply the cuticle oil and then take a thumbnail picture so i show you guys as well because you asked me a couple times i'm using those wipes at the end but you have to that was a good question you have to kind of wait a couple seconds for the gel polish to cool down if you touch it too soon then it goes um, dull so i'm always waiting for a gel polish to uh, cool down and once it's cooled down i can wipe it with the wipes like you know like and then apply the cuticle oil on the client's uh, client's nails so everything looks nice and pretty but when i'm taking the pictures for a thumbnail i remove the excess of the cuticle oil from the nails if you've got too much it doesn't look nice but look on those color shift it's so fantastic like anyway i hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial glittery hacks and bye for now that's me back again. I had to show you the kind of holographic look to it. It's quite hard to catch it on the camera. I quite love it. It's a really nice, nice effect. <laughs> okay, I'm sending you big hugs and thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs>